Yep. All right, so like I was saying, from the show, pick a topic and slowly get off the <laughs> topic. <laughs> Wait, what? All right, uh, name <laughs> ID. Huh? Yes. Name ideas. Oh, I thought you said name be? idea. What the fuck are you talking about? Name ideas. Uh, uh, uh. Too angry man. Too angry. Too angry man. I know what that meant. I just ate something more. Oh, okay. No, no, I just ate two. I kind of want to eat again. I don't know Chinese, but I know I'll be hungry in a half hour if I need. It's a random tangent. It's I like a random tangent. And Jen. Random ta I think random tangent should win. Okay, well, it's the best of two right now. So. Yeah, right. Mm Horny -hmm. and afraid? <laughs> Which one am I? <laughs> so I'm really going to have to ask that question. <laughs> you look terrified when I said it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, balls and wieners. Is that a name or are you just saying those two words? <laughs> a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. <laughs> uh, okay, now you can sit up straight, looking like a mold and worn out. Mold and worn out. Mold and worn out. That's actually not that bad. <laughs> working hard and hardly working? Two Jews, a midget, bottle of lube, and a banana. That's too long. I have separate for banana, but you're just basically the roof. Yeah. I mean, plus, you know, the whole fat thing, so we're probably going to eat the bananas. I don't have bananas, though. You wouldn't have to eat. Wait, what? Who doesn't have bananas? I don't, I don't really particularly care for fruit. I didn't know that was something I did. What is it, like un American now? Probably. Bastard. America! No, wait. What else you got? I'm, I'm out. My creativity ended at random tangent. Balls and, balls and wieners, that's weird. That's, that's, that's the end of my, my abilities, right? Balls and wieners, what else you got? It's just a little suggestion for everything. Well, well I mean, I'm just going to stick one day. But. No, I'm not even going to touch that one. Yeah, yeah. Silence. You're going to hurt yourself. It's a random tangent. Random tangent is random tangent. To all those watching right now, welcome to Random Tangent. What the fuck's I don't like this fucking chair. <laughs>
uh, like, subscribe. Um, you know, love us, please. We need it, especially him. He's lonely, very, very lonely. Um, also, um, please leave your suggestions in the comments below. Let us know what you'd like us to talk about, what subjects you'd like to hear us rant about. Um, Good, we got nothing. We really don't. This, this is like five minutes of prep time. Five, yeah, we're making this up as we go at this point. I mean, as a matter of fact, I don't even think we got anything else. Should we just stop the video now? I don't. Um, we get you know you get a base list of topics here. Uh, we can always tell stories. We can tell your gay porn story. <sighs> Wait, are we going to tell the real story or your lies? It's your not, evil, evil lies. It's not lies. It's, it's lies. It's, you know, it's it's mis it's fabrication to an extreme level. It, you have blacked out a lot of it. That's what I think. <laughs> <laughs> that might actually be a little true. That might be a little true. <laughs> All right. So this begins. First of all, we were like what, twelve, thirteen, somewhere in that age. Uh, yeah, about 11, 12, 13. No, it wasn't thirteen because I moved here when I was thirteen. So it had to be like twelve. Okay. So yeah. All right. So the story begins with my mom, who at the time was dating this guy. We'll call him Steve. Trust me, it's not that bad. <laughs> just, just I didn't really could have chose a better way to. I'm going to start with my mom. It's a porn story. We'll, we'll get there. Oh, God. It starts with my mom, who at the time was dating a guy and call him Steve, who at the time had an uncle who at the time died. And the best part of someone, you know, a loved one dying is you get some of their stuff. And Steve got his uncle's VCR player, which shows you how old this story is. For you young kids, a VCR was a machine before DVD players that took these things called... T you know what? Google it. And for you, you younger kids, a DVD is this disc. That they had before streaming. Anyways, Steve gets gets his uncle's VCR, and one night they hook it up in the room there, and they're trying to trying to get it you know attached to the TV with the wires and whatnot, and go put a tape in. Wait, did it have Bluetooth back then? No, <laughs> they would put a tape in, and it won't it won't go in the slot. And we figured out what it is is because there's another tape already in there. You have to press the eject button, but it wouldn't come out. It's stuck in there. <laughs> and like it became like trying to find ways to get that video out, and like you could open the slot and see the name on there, and it's something like uh, it's the size that counts, which in hindsight probably should have been a red flag. <laughs> but we can't get it out, so finally someone gets a bright idea, like press play and see what it is. And it's like two guys have themselves some sex in the shower. <laughs> And Having uh, themselves some sex in the shower. I, that, I want that on my tombstone. <laughs> Having themselves some sex in the shower. Bill had himself some sex. <laughs> oh, Lord. Anyway. Uh, so, like, I run out of the room because I am not saying, not saying homophobic. It's just at the time I was like 12. He was a homophobe. You look at your own dick too long, you're gay. Like, see, you just you can't see two guys in the shower. Oh, Lord, if that was the case, by the time I was 12, I was just a raging where. You didn't, didn't really have, like, a real clear picture of what gay was at that age. It's just, like, something if someone called you that, you're supposed to be mad. It's... According to that video, <laughs> there was somebody who had a clear picture of what gay was. Anyway, so I go running out of the room. My mom goes to yell at me, you'll get, you'll get out, but your side's gone. And, uh, there's Steve sitting there on the bed, just, like, in shock. At so this point, his uncle had been, it's great, man. But, uh... I, I, a couple hours go past, and I've gone nowhere near the room. I did wide circle around, and time a mom comes out with the tape, and she got it out. And she goes to throw it in the garbage. I go, wait. Fucker. Because <laughs> I had a, had a really good idea, because this man, puberty just hit him so hard, and there's like... still hasn't stopped. I mean, to give you some idea, like, every step he took... <laughs> At 12 was a pelvic thrust to the <laughs> and every and uh, like, pretty much like that now actually and once again you younger kids porn wasn't just like a click away like you used to have to know somebody who had some porn oh, yeah there was a black market in my school it was bad <laughs> hey man you got that stuff so and this man treated it as like gold white gold or something like that and uh <laughs> it's got to be white gold you're racist yeah uh, so I go give me the tape I'm going to show it to Bill. So I get this tape, and next time he comes over, I come I come out of the room one day, one time, I go, look at this. I found this in my mom's room. I think it's a porno. Do you want to... Gone. You did <laughs> <laughs> it was true. I grabbed it, Brian. It was no. 
So he goes, he puts in the in the VCR player in the, in the front room there. I'm like, okay, you watch that porn. I gotta go pee because I didn't want to see it again. <laughs> so I go run to the bathroom. I got my ear to the door, and I'm listening. And all I hear from like you know, several rooms down is, <laughs> oh, uh, oh, oh, this is bad too. Oh, <laughs> no, no. In my defense, you saw nothing. Like it started out, it was it was the apps. It was a perfect close-up shot of a dude's junk and a hand working a dude's junk. Yes, this is what you told me. There is there is there is no. nothing to define who's who. So let, you're sitting there like, uh. Let me describe. Let me describe it the way you told me originally. Like you saw like the the dick and the and you're like, okay, hand job scene, great place to start. And he like you see this guy, he the camera cuts to this guy's face. He's like, oh, oh, doing this the whole sex face thing. So far, we're good. He's like, yeah. he's like hey, that's the guy. Getting the, getting the hand job. Then it like cuts to a different guy and he's just kind of looking intently. And it, here's where I admire your optimism because you're like, oh, a threesome. And like, that's, you, that's where you went to. And like, back to the dick and the guy, oh, and oh, the other guy, hmm. Huh. Until it's finally the camera pans out and you see there's, there's no no ladies involved. And that's, that's when the screaming and crying began. And there was crying. Oh, God. Oh, what have I seen? That's that's what you described it to me. I what can't ungay. In a follow up to that story, I have that twenty something years not let it drop since. Like, <laughs> and the worst part was for a while there. See, this is the part he doesn't tell you. He neglects this one little section here. The part where he goes around telling all his friends lies. <laughs> I got them coming up to me going, "Hey, weren't you guys intentionally watch gay porn?" No. <laughs> I was choked by that little rat thing that, bastard. That was just lost in communication. I did introduce it. This is my friend Bill. You watch gay porn. Like, there's no lie in that. Uh, now, where do they just say he watches, actively participates in the... Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Let's calm it the hell down now. Now we're just getting a little off topic. Queer. Fat Jesus over here. But it, what's down. interesting, though, is it's translated over time. Like, it, it's no longer, hey, do you watch this video I found? It's like, Hey, check out this video I found online. Fuck you. No, it doesn't do it still. It <laughs> Although I do still get text messages like, I wonder what the... Oh, come on. Although I did get a funny one today, so that's mm. good. I'll let you have that one. <laughs> the Happy Meal one was fantastic. Um, so, yeah. that That's... I hate you. <laughs> I really do. I just hate you. <laughs> if we do this one time, it's out there for the world. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's about, <laughs> thanks to you, pretty much everybody knows. Like, it's not a secret. I mean, I could, it, seriously, if, if this never happened right now, eventually there would be a tombstone in front of your grave that said, Bill watched gay porn. <laughs> Had himself some sex, also watched gay porn. I had sex once. I have proof. <laughs> Daddy? Ah! <laughs> oh, that was a shameful thing. Mm. So on another note, uh, I really got nowhere to go with this. Now. Yeah. Like you've really thrown me under the bus here. And <laughs> the worst part, of, uh, you know what? I, since we're telling stories and we're embarrassing each other, I got one. Ah, so let me set the scene. We're camping. We're about thirteen, fourteen, somewhere in that ballpark. <laughs> this pack when we used to do things. We're active. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this was a long. Long time ago. I used to go outside for <laughs> reasons outside of taking the trash out of <laughs> work. Go outside. Yeah. Scared. Huh. Anyway, so we're out camping. We used to, me, him, and his mother used to go camping all the time. It was a fun thing we did every summer. But one summer we went, where we Turkey Run? That's Turkey Run. Turkey Run out in Illinois. Indiana. Man. Was it Indiana? Yeah. What the hell would I think it was Illinois? I'm thinking of the dunes. That's what I'm thinking. Also Indiana. Well, no, Illinois has to do camping area, too. It's shitty, but it still exists. Anyways, also Jesus. Michigan. Can I finish? Fucker. So, we're out camping, and just, I'd say about a five-minute walk, about a ten-minute limp. You'll get that joke in a minute. Um, We're just down the road from our campsite. <clears throat> down the road, they have this huge, like, ravine. And, I mean, it's steep. Both sides, nice V, real nice. But once again, we were active. So we're literally like full retards. And we were sliding down there, which was ironic because we walked past a playground with slides. 
to get to this thing. <laughs> but go ahead. Leroy! No. Um, so what we're doing at one point is we are running full speed down these hills. No, we did start, we, it started, so it started slide, sliding. But then we uncovered a route that we hit halfway down and had, have to get up and run because it tripped us up. Yeah, that's right. Now, yeah. So, what the sweet hell is that? You know what I realize? I really hope the camera's picking up on that music. Otherwise, we just look stupid. <laughs> Dance break! <laughs> Anywho. Oh, Christ. We get sponsorship. Oh. We can put that name there. Right? It's Samsung. <laughs> this video is not endorsed by Samsung. Um, trust me. Uh, so anyway, so we're we're sliding down these hills. Once you get to about the bottom, there's this big root. You can't slide anymore, so you got to get up and run. Well, once you get up and run, the root is literally located, like, right at the bottom of the V. So once you run, you stand up, you run, you basically just jump. And yes. now you're going up the other side. Well, you had to jump because there's, like, a whole bunch of, like, sticks and... God chain. knows what else. a bunch of stuff. They'd, like, fallen down there and just gone to the bottom of the ravine. Yeah. So you had to start sliding down. You hit the root, like, halfway down. Stand up, run down the rest of the way. You got to jump over the sticks or just run into them. <laughs> that was fun. Um, so, he, so we did it a couple times. Uneventful. This idiot comes down one time. Pink! Oh! My foot! I, th I think I twisted my ankle. Cool. Awesome. Great. Now I gotta drag your fat ass back to the campsite. This ought to be fun. So, we get him back up the hill. We get him onto the road. His arms are around me. I'm carrying him. This idiot's hopping the whole way. And because we were, what, 14 maybe? Somewhere in that age. You know, at 14, it's like, you know, I, I broke my leg, girls. Yeah, there's a campsite with a bunch of So, two girls are walking towards us from... No, it wasn't two girls. There was a campsite. Like, was it? I was now I remember two girls walking towards us. And you're like, hold on. Because you we limped just, a little bit and then let, and like, hold me. Oh, God. No, I knew where, we knew where their campsite was. No, you, I knew where their campsite was. I sniffed it out day one. You just imagine, like, girls walking towards That's every memory you have. Like they, they get Actually, I'm, you know what? I'm still waiting for my, you know, penthouse forum moment. <laughs> Your penthouse forum. I found a campsite full of girls. They told me, get away, you creepy bastard. Anyways, so, we're, we're bringing back. He said, we, we walked past his campsite of girls. He's like, stop! Look at me! And he's limping across. I, was, I, I managed to... You watch. were freaking <laughs> almost in tears. Your face was so red. Because I, I should have known right then, that ain't a spring. So we well, get the fact that it was my ankle was like that big at that yeah, point. Your softball sized <laughs> ankle. So we get back to the campsite. And his mother's like, Yeah, it looks spring. He puts his leg up. We got he did basically we that was like day two of the camping trip. Yeah. Of like a what, four or five day camping trip. Something yeah, it was a week long camping trip. So we got back and he found out his freaking ankle was broken. Well, to be fair though, Ancient. we knew we knew that this was gonna end with when one of us hurt themselves. I just like, imagining it would be the other guy first. I was wrong for once. Generally, I'm the one that you know, breaks things, so yeah, I guess you, I can see, <laughs> I can see your logic there. Payback for porn. That's my funny story. The only mm. good one I have. The only good one you have. I have a sheltered life. Man. <laughs> uh, very show. Well, we have all our stories from playing Xbox and all that with Matt. By the way, Matt, if you're watching this, Mr. Shriner, he's suck. Uh, <laughs> um. Uh, nice guy. Very nice guy. He's this guy who's going to pretend he doesn't know us anymore. <laughs> He's a hermit. Uh, he doesn't leave his house. He's scared of the light and people and interaction. I know that's pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> we all fight through it. Uh, anywho. So. <laughs> keep doing it. There you go, genius. Let me give you a hint. Don't lean back. Hey, what else did we write down on our little sheet of notes here? Uh, you know, well, let's jump into one of these. You know what? I want to get into the topic that we were discussing yesterday. I want to go straight to this one. Horror movies slash crap. Yes. How horror movies are crap. Horror movies have lost their way in life. Sadly. Okay. This is a 25-minute conversation yesterday. When I, when, now you're mumming the subject? Oh, what, more, what more is to be said? Okay, let's... Well, what? they haven't heard of fucking Elaborate. Thing. Elaborate. Well, when we were discussing, I was, I was explaining to him yesterday. 
Mr. Nate, be by the window because you keep on. There's gonna be like a squirrel or something out there. There's all kinds of stuff going on up there, and it's throwing me off. <laughs> Anywho, so <laughs> shiny out. Oh look, two girls are walking by. Let me hold you up. <laughs> Any, <laughs> and you've got to quit leaning that way because you're out of the camera. I can lean this way. You, you can tell already. I don't want to be in anymore. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> anyway, okay, here's my choices. Lean out this way, out of the frame. Lean this way, closer to you. Bye. <laughs> I promise I'll only touch you a little bit. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> How about next time I'll let you have this chair so you don't hurt yourself? Yeah, chair from home. <laughs> <laughs> Do you realize this would be half the video is you fighting with that chair? <laughs> so back to the... So we are really bad at this. Horror movies, slash crap. Go. Anywho, so the genre of horror movies is crap these days. Agree. Scratch that one out. <laughs> you know what? One I do want to talk about because I know there's a funny joke in here somewhere, and, I, and plus I just gotta I gotta enjoy it. Is for those of you that may not know, and more than likely anybody watching YouTube right now probably knows. Uh, just recently. Uh, I think last weekend, actually, um, they did a Pokemon Go festival. Oh, we are off. Festival. Guess I could have done my paranormal activity roundup again. No, because that was just terrible. Let's go to the Pokemon Go. We'll come back to the world. Okay. Because apparently we're not ready for that just quite yet. Pokemon Go. I'll put a square around this one. Make our way through the street metrically. It's going to be weird when you're trying to octagon or something. <laughs> um, more space. This triangle looks like shit. <laughs> triangle? That's like a shape I've never seen before. Anyway, so... Rectangle, rhombus, the star I'm shape. <laughs> like an actual is it term for it. I, I can't. You, you've, you've hurt me. That's GTA what 5 is going to be an octagon. That's 6. It's good Shits. to know you know you're freaking... Well, I'm not done drawing the lines yet. It's fantastic. Anywho. So, Pokemon Go. <laughs> well, hopefully. Pokemon Stop. That's what they should call it. You proud of that? Kind of. I, I wouldn't be. <laughs> Anywho. So. As we were discussing, Pokemon Go. Oh, good. You won't be in charge of your squares and rectangles and all that bullshit. Um, don't. So. Uh, apparently they had a festival in Chicago. It was supposed to be, I believe, a two-day festival. Where they were bringing in people from, apparently people came in from all over the country, even the world, <laughs> to play, play for it, Pokemon Go. Because, you know, that's still relevant. Um, and apparently when they all got out to Chicago, they started doing, I guess they were screaming and yelling, ranting and raving because all the Pokemon servers were shot. They, the game was not working. And people were losing their minds because they had paid money for hotel rooms and everything else, and Pokemon Go was not a go. And there's more uh, stuff to do in Chicago, though. Like get shot. Well, besides that, like there's, like there's museums. Count and stuff. all the bullet shells you find in the ground. I, mean, I can do this all day. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm starting to think maybe when we pick these topics, we should look into them a little bit more. That's all there really is to it, honestly. I, I looked into it myself. There, really, all it is is just one long joke about how, you know, <laughs> it couldn't get um, anybody to... Are you fucking with the pen now? Because you made me move forward. You know, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know, I don't know. Anywho. <laughs> and this is, how does it, you're over here, you're like this. I'm over here, over here, you're like that. Once again, further from you, it's... <laughs> I love it. Anywho, so yes, Pokemon Go was not a go. Apparently, Pokemon No Go. Once again, are you proud of that? Actually, you, you know what? I'm proud of that one. That one's not like that one. Um, you know what? Uh, yeah. So. <laughs> Back to the horror movies, because now I really want to get into this. Okay. Let's hear your little rant on the, uh, uh, the, um, what the hell is it? Well, as we're saying, you like Paranormal Activity. I enjoy the Paranormal I, Well, I enjoyed the first two. After that, it just all went to hell. But the first two, I liked it, and I liked the, 
I like the Paranormal Activity movies, and I like them because the filming, the design of it was different. It was new. It hadn't been done yet. I think that's what intrigued me. Because when you first see it, it's kind of like, that looks real. That looks like a real recorded video. Yes, I get everybody who's going to get in the comments and start saying, oh, well, yeah, because you know most normal people have 49 cameras in their house recording at all hours of the day. I get it. And this guy's rant is going to open something else up. That's not what I'm talking about. The base idea of it, the base, the simple start of it was broken. Everything else... Questionable, especially the third movie. That was just a that was just a sloppy you, jerk. You say you like the first two, but really you like the first one because every paranormal activity movie is the same. See, movie. I can't argue on that though because I only saw the first three, and after the third one was crap, I just didn't want to do it. No, every paranormal activity movie is this. Hey, check it out! I got this new camera. Cool. You should record everything. Yeah, yeah. Okay, recording everything. Video. Weird stuff happens. Weird stuff happens. Check back the video. Hey, look at this weird stuff that happens. That's weird. Yeah, right? Weird stuff happens. Weird stuff happens. Rising action. All of a sudden, last ten minutes. Frantic, 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 yelling, screaming, running. Quiet moment. Quiet moment. Jump scare! Credits. Every paranormal activity movie. I like how you yelled jump scare. Really yeah. <laughs> Sadly enough, I don't have any, I don't have a dog no. in this fight. I can't argue that fact. Um... <laughs> I, I saw the first one because that's the one I saw willingly. I've seen them all. Wait, you saw them all, but this is the first one you saw willingly. Please elaborate No, I saw on the first one willingly. I actually went to the theater. The other ones, is like, I waited until they came out in video, and it's more of like, okay, they're going to do something with this one. Like, there's just enough of a tease at the end of each one. You're like, okay, the next one, that's the one where it's going to be. But <laughs> no, every well, one. Well, then let me ask you this. You don't like the paranormal activity movies. Mm-hmm. What do you think about, um, like, Rob Zombie, his iterations of, like, Halloween or uh, House of a Thousand Corpses or... House of a Thousand Corpses was not, I would say, a scary movie. It was just more just... That was just creepy. Yeah, Rob Zombie's, like... Kind of Someone can. gave Rob Zombie a camera and money. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> all right, I got one shot at this. I don't know. What was the other one? It was House of a Thousand Corpses. Devil's Rejects. Devil's Rejects. That one, I think, was better, actually. Yeah, I, I agree. The Devil's Rejects seemed pretty, pretty better, yeah. Pretty better. Although it did seem like, uh, but at the end of the day, when you really think about it, that movie was kind of just ripping off uh, you make an awesome, Texas Chainsaw Mask. You make an awesome critic. It's pretty better. <laughs> Couldn't be any worse than that last night with uh, what was it? Uh, the shopping store? <laughs> Dumbass. Go to the shopping store. It's pretty better. <laughs> what do you think of this one? It's kind of not as good. <laughs> it's more better. What? Anyways, um, so what was so in your opinion, what is a good horror movie then? What defines a good horror movie? I have nothing. Once again, we don't prepare. <laughs> well, you've seen movies before. It isn't a matter of preparation, it's a matter of opinion. Mm. I like to event horizon. You know, I don't think I saw that one. Um, I actually enjoy as cheesy it is it is, I enjoy some of the old slasher flicks. Like Friday the Thirteenth, the the original ones, the original uh, Nightmare on Elm Streets. You know what? I never watched those when I was younger, mm -hmm. and now going back, I don't think it has as much appeal. Yeah, I mean, they, they I think a lot of them are kind of dated. I can see how, like back in the eighties or whatnot, they were scary, but yeah, not yeah. Now it's kind of like that's cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, okay. I think we've covered our horror movie uh, aspect. Okay, Give horror movies. Back. You want to talk about GTA 6 and how I can't, I pray to God it's as good as they say it is? I haven't heard anything about it. I've only heard little tidbits here and there. I don't necessarily, you know, with that, what? you don't know if it's true. Okay, given that the last one had golf and yoga, what, what do you think the side missions and the side activities are going to be in this one? Anal bleaching? Press, press X to do taxes. <laughs> press X to wipe. <laughs> Mission failed. <laughs> Oh, crusty ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, I think I think I could definitely say, you know, I'm 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 hoping they're going to do with they're going to do the smart thing, and they're going to keep GTA Six off the Xbox One until the Xbox One X is definitely on 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 ground, ready to go and shipping and moving, because I don't want to see them pull an Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty to Xbox One situation like they did last time, where 
Oh, here's a, here's you know GTA Five. It's fantastic. Yay! Oh well, now the Xbox One comes out, we'll resell it to you. Why do you keep hitting my hand? I'm trying to go for a high five. If that's what you're doing. Fuck yeah. We're gonna let that slide. Hurt my thumb, you cocked. So I, I, I'm hoping. That's that's my hope. Is we'll see a GTA Six that's gonna go onto the you know that's gonna wait come out. So that way I can get it on the Xbox One X and don't have to buy it on two systems. Do you think they're gonna do the character split again? I don't know. I I, I, didn't, I didn't. I didn't care for it. I mean, I didn't mind it. It was nice to have multiple characters, see multiple stories. I do enjoy a good story and game. That is one of my big things. Um, I'm not a huge multiplayer, competitive multiplayer person because he's uh, bad at it. No, it's because it's just way too much. Way too. Yeah, I'm good at it. Like Titanfall Two, Titanfall, all of those were great up until, and they even came out and advertised it. It was there. It wasn't like it was a hidden fact um, that there was so much cheating on there. And I mean, we, you would get. It, it's one thing if I get taken out legitimately. It's a whole other thing if. You know, you're playing Call of Duty and you see the kill cam and the guy standing there pulls his knife out and then it manages to turn into an apparition and go through everything in the map and hit you on the other side with a stab. That ain't right. <laughs> and, you know, it's too hard to fight, so you get aggravated with all... And plus, people are too damn competitive. Mm -hmm. I don't like... People get so agitated over the simplest things. Get good move. Seven days to die, that's our thing. Yeah. Or Grand Theft Auto if we just want shenanigans. Shenanigans. But, yeah, I'm hoping they do some more. I'm hoping they keep out of the split screen. The split character, I should say. I do want to see them do GTA Airline, but I do want to see them improve on some of the problems and issues that they have with the one now. Mm -hmm. um, but for the most part, I mean, Rockstar's done a fantastic job of, you know, updating it, keeping it free, which is always nice. You know, uh -huh. I'm not trying to nickel and dime you. Because they really don't need, they really didn't need to nickel and dime everybody on GTA Five anyways. Because they made them buy it for 360 and then Xbox One. So they got you twice anyways. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, I mean, I'd like to see it done a little different, done a little better. Um, but you know, we'll, we'll see what happens in that department. Let's uh, hopefully. The only rumor I've heard about it was that it take every map from every Grand Theft Auto that's existed and combine them. That's going to be the size of GTA Six. If that's true. That's massive, but we'll see. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've also that's also you know, Rockstar Games. They're notorious for putting out little tidbits of fake, just to kind of keep you on your toes and not sure what's going on or lying. You like everybody likes to do that. Uh huh. You know, just like this. Uh, they had been... <laughs> his rule was no politics. <laughs> <laughs> no politics. <laughs> Oh, what was the other half of that? What? No politics, but no politics, but there is no God. <laughs> what? What? What is something we want to finish this off? This, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, this will be our first video. That's why it does seem a little kind of out there, a little off. We're gonna edit the crap out of it anyways. Mm -hmm. Um, and but we, you know, we need ideas from you guys. Let us know what you think we should do, what we should talk about. Let us know. Uh, no complaints about sound or camera. We are going to fix the problem. We are working on it. Um, but we want to make sure that this is going to get a little roll first before putting money into it. I'm adding to the video. Got to do it higher, though. It kind of looks like I'm, I don't God, I hate money. you so much. The shenanigans? Our time forward. Ruha? That's one. Oh, God. Um, so, anyways, I don't care. Uh, so... What would you like us to do? What would you like us to talk about? What would you like to hear? What would you like to hear our opinions about? What would you just in general like to hear? I, you want to hear me say Teddy Sprinkles over and over again? Someone please vote for that. Um, Teddy Sprinkles. Don't vote for it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm going to do that now anyways. <laughs> just randomly in the next video. Teddy Sprinkles. <laughs> oh, I got myself. Like music should play and like Sprinkles should come down. <laughs> I can make it like a... And land on my titties. <laughs> you ruined it. I tried. <laughs> Alright, so, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to call it quits for the day on this one. Uh, please tune in next week. We are going to do another video. Uh, once again, like, subscribe, leave us some comments below, let us know, hey, right down there, somewhere in this general region. Yeah. You're done. Why do you hate me so much? Just keep me on track.
the squirrel. All right. What? You done? Uh, who? Okay. I don't know. What? Where? Anyways, yes. Like, subscribe, leave us comments, let us know you like us. Please, God, like us. <laughs> Love me. Um, and we will uh, see you next week around Friday-ish. Something like that. All right. Have a good one. And we are out of here. Bye.